Hi, Gary Stearman. Time for another daily update, and today it is a Monday. Well, can you believe that? We're moving through the month of April so rapidly. Once again, we have Doug Hamp in studio with us, and we're always pleased when we can have an author of Doug Hamp's talent and his insight with us. His book is called Corrupting the Image. Uh, we have talked with Doug about this on a uh, prior update, but we're going to continue the discussion today. In your book, Doug, you have a chapter about the rapture, except you call it the counterfeit rapture. What do you mean by that? Well, you know what's so interesting is Satan knows what's coming, so he has to get the stage set. And you might think of it before the curtain goes up, you've got to have the actors in place. Everyone needs to, to know their lines. The props have to be on stage. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know when the curtain is going to go up, but he has to have everything ready so that when it does, everything is ready to go. So the people knowing their lines and such are the channelers, people who claim that they are mm -hmm. receiving messages from aliens. Now, I believe they really are receiving messages, but they're not from aliens. They're from demons who are pretending to be aliens, the people of Ashtar, who is just the same old demon now recycled into becoming the leader of the Galactic Federation and this nonsense. But um, people like Barbara Marcinac and uh, uh, Theral and others uh, are receiving these messages where they're told that a time of great cataclysms is going to come upon the world. It's going to look like uh, the birds and the fish are leaving planet Earth. Isn't it amazing that we see uh, birds falling out of the sky by the hundreds of thousands and you see dead fish on uh, shores around the world yes. by the millions. And yet this has been predicted by the aliens, you see. And they, they use things like uh, people are going to be taken away in the twinkling of an eye. I mean, they're using terminology yeah. that Jesus used to begin with, right? Except they've got a reverse view of the rapture. Exactly. Uh, in other yeah. words, we look at this as going home to be with the Lord. He's going to come down into the a atmospheric heavens, and he's going to pick us up. Yes. But that's not their view, exactly. Well, it's really the mirror image. And I think a lot can be gained by studying the mirror image. I mean, we know the truth in the Bible. But now let's look at the mirror image that the enemy is presenting to us. And what it does is, first of all, it confirms that the rapture is going to happen. And it confirms that a lot of people are going to be taken off the planet. And so to use their words, looking at the mirror image, is that if, if the people on Earth don't change and become more uh, in harmony with planet Earth, which is all this green movement mm -hmm. stuff, if we don't uh, start paying attention to Mother Earth, etc., then Mother Earth and uh, her own love for herself is going to purge herself. Uh, that's one scenario. The other is there these, these aliens are going to save mankind when we are in our time of greatest trial, when we're about to just m mess ourselves up. And so what I see happening is we're going to have an event known as World War III. Biblically, that's the War of Gog and Magog. Mm -hmm. And this is going to, it's going to happen. It's the world will say, this is the apocalypse, etc. Which It's not, though, really. It's just the, the pregame. And then, right after that, we will be raptured. But again, those on the planet are not going to say, oh, the rapture just happened. Because there's going to be a strong delusion that they should believe the lie. We see in Second Thessalonians chapter 2. The strong delusion is that the aliens took all the believers onto their spaceships. You see, the people that are taken, according to these alien channelers, the people that are taken are the ones that don't fit in here any longer. They're the people that cannot or will not evolve to the fourth dimension. Mm -hmm. And they're going to either remain in the third dimension or they're going to be taken by the aliens up to the motherships, uh, levitated away, they say, uh, to be reprogrammed. Uh, and then they'll come back, as will the animals that are currently dying. They say that they're going to come back, these other people will be come back, and they'll come back as you know, citizens ready for the, for the new order. Wow. Yeah, it, this is amazing because th this happened uh, ages ago already. We have false prophets in the Old Testament <coughs> who uh, spoke the words of false gods, a and we had an event in which... Uh, alien entities came down from the heavens and tinkered with mankind's DNA and so forth. So really we're seeing a revisitation of an ancient Bible theme. 
and it's been popularized. It, it's in pop culture, it's in the movies, it's in novels. It's, a, it's amazing how people really, I think, want aliens to be part of us in some way. They really do. In fact, there's a, a music <coughs> video by someone named Katy Perry. It's called E.T. And in her video, she's singing about uh, having relations with an extraterrestrial. And uh, it's a very disturbing video. Uh, what disturbs me the most is that hundreds of millions of young people have listened to this. In fact, um, uh, some, some friends of ours, uh, we know that their daughter was listening to this song. They're, these are believers. These are Christians. Wow. And yet their daughter was listening to this very much unsuspectingly, not knowing what the song was really about. But the lyrics go something like this, that uh, could you be an angel? Could you be a demon? You're so different. You, you're of a different dimension, uh, futuristic lover, different DNA. And the whole thing is about how it's going to be a wonderful thing to have physical mm -hmm. relations with an extraterrestrial. Mm -hmm. And I think this is just all part, this is the end of the slippery slope of promiscuity till we get to pedophilia, homosexuality, best bestiality, until finally we get to now having relations with, uh, with these so-called aliens. And that is what we find in the book of Jude. It says that the Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities of the plain were actually having relations with these angels with the fallen angels. And that is the end game because, it, and of course that will also culminate in what we know as the mark of the beast. But it's very, very sinister. And I think people need to be aware, not only of that song, but of the bigger picture. When you go and you watch the movies and you see, oh, that's pretty cool, all this X-Men and all this different stuff, there's a, a strong message behind yeah. it to, to, to excite in us a desire to be something more to be something more. You know, I was thinking of superheroes as you're talking. They are genetically modified human beings. You know, they're, they're yeah. the X-Men, you know, mm -hmm. and they all have superheroic talents of various kinds. And I guess it all started with Superman back in the 30s. Yes. But everybody wants to be a superhero. Or the idea of being something more than human is very appealing. Sure, I would like to as well. I don't, I'm tired of this body with its limitations, but the Lord Jesus will give us a new body that we would kind of claim to be a superhero, but it's yeah. going to be really cool, way better than a superhero. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and way it's better. free of charge. If we'll just <laughs> ask him and bow our knee, we'll, we'll get that new body. The book is Corrupting the Image. It's the long story of Satan's plan to corrupt the human genome and then to replace human leadership with his own leadership. Now, we've read the end of the Bible. We know he's going to fail. Praise the Lord. But this is going to give you some insight into what's going on right now. And you heard Doug talking about, well, a piece of pop music. Uh, you've seen the pop culture yourself, the, the movies, the DVD uh, uh, music of various kinds that's going around these days. And you know that this, the, the false seeds of redemption are being planted everywhere. That's what uh, Corrupting the Image is about. We have the book. Uh, for 1795, the DVD, two full hours of Doug lecturing on this subject for 1995. Uh, together, they would be 37.90. We're going to make them available to you for 34.95 plus shipping and handling. When you when you uh, call the 800 number that's on your screen right now, just ask for the Doug Hamp package, and whoever is on the phone will understand what you're asking for. The Doug Hamp package. The book, the DVD, thirty-four ninety-five plus shipping and handling, and you can read in depth and detail what you've heard Doug talking about. Doug, any last thoughts? Well, keep looking up. We need to get right with the Lord. The time is very short. You know, how true. Uh, there is little time. Uh, you need, if you know of a friend who is on the verge of receiving Christ but is dragging his or her feet for some reason, redouble your efforts. If you your, yourself right now have not received Christ, all you have to do is go in faith believing, bow before the Lord and say, uh, Father, I know I'm a sinner, and yet I know uh, that you love me and that Jesus came and died so that I might have salvation, and I, and I accept that salvation right now by faith. You know, that's all you have to do. And the time is short. You need to do it. Doug, it's uh, 
I think you've conveyed that in your book that, that, that you know we're coming rapidly to a close here. Yeah, so look up. <laughs> and of course, uh, Doug echoing the words that we always say right here on Prophecy in the News. Keep looking up. Jesus coming soon. Mm-hmm.